What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another video and today I'm going to be giving you guys a look at the newly redesigned Maps application in iOS 10. Uh, so the Maps application has um, gotten a pretty significant overhaul in iOS 10. Uh, the user interface has been altered quite a bit um, and there has been several new features that have been added to make the overall user experience much much better than it was before. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in and see what has changed. So let's go ahead and open up the app here. So straight away you can see the UI is quite a bit different uh, than it was in iOS 9. Now there are some similarities, uh, but the overall positioning of everything has basically uh, been changed. So as you can see on the right hand side here, the little compass section, or compass button, you, uh, is still there, but it's been moved down slightly. Um, and then the location button has been moved as well as the little info button. And then down here at the bottom, uh, the search bar has been moved as well. So it's right at the bottom of the screen. And then you also you could drag up uh, to get a view of all of your recently saved locations and your recently searched locations. So you can just scroll through all of that and you can click on, I don't know, let's say... Apple Store in San Francisco, so you can click on that and it'll immediately take you over to all of the Apple Stores that are located within the San Francisco area. Uh, of course, you can scroll through all of those and see the reviews, click on one of them, and then you can get directions to it straight from here, uh, get some basic info, slide up again and get some more info on it as well, such as pictures, the phone number, website, um, the address, hours of operation, whether or not they accept Apple Pay, so it'll tell you if that store does or doesn't accept Apple Pay, which is kind of nice. And of course, at the very bottom, you have your reviews uh, from Yelp, so you can act upon that, so you can either check in or write a review. Um, then you have a Apple Store suggestion, so you can download the Apple Store app if you would like. Um, then another thing about the Maps application that has been or that's a big feature change, is the ability that now third-party developers have access to the map API. Uh, before, they were only able to just add the maps to their applications and within the apps. Uh, but now, uh, developers have the option to basically integrate their apps with the maps application so you can act upon a certain action without leaving the maps app. So, for example, uh, Uber... Uh, has now been able to uh, integrate their app with the Maps app. So if you search for a, an Uber driver or a location, uh, you can instantly call the driver uh, to your location uh, straight from the Maps app without leaving this particular app and then you need to go to the Uber app. Um, and another neat thing about that is if you do call an Uber driver, uh, it will instantly place a little car on the map and give you live updates of where the car is at. So you can basically track the exact location of your driver uh, within the Maps application without leaving it. Um, another thing that has been changed is when you go to get directions to a particular location, so if we go and hit directions to that particular Apple Store, as you can see, it gives you a, another UI change here. So the UI is different for uh, the directions view. So you have a big green button there for go. So when you click go, uh, show your um, directions basically. Now since this is an iPod Touch, uh, it doesn't have a GPS, so it doesn't get the Jeep or the turn by turn directions. Uh, but you, if you had used an iPhone, uh, it will give you the standard turn by turn directions, and it'll also add traffic um, or live traffic updates throughout uh, the route. Now, that is something that Google Maps has been doing for a while. A lot of the features that you see here have been in the Google Maps application for quite some time. So it's not anything that's revolutionary or new, but it is new to the Apple's uh, version of their map. Right, so let's go ahead and end that route and go back here. Uh, but now if we go and click on the little I, uh, it gives you some information about your map. So you can basically change your settings um, that you basically are used to. So you can change it from map, you can go to transit view, or you can go to the standard satellite view, which then changes the entire user interface, makes, turns it into like a black and blue view. 
It's kind of interesting. Let me go back to the map view here. And then you get the toggle to be able to turn on and off traffic. If you do not want traffic turned on, you can turn that off if you'd like. Um, you can mark my location. So you can mark your current location on the map if you want to uh, go back to it at a certain time. And um, you can add a place. So if you add place, uh, this just basically lets you report an issue to Apple. And if there's a place that's missing uh, on the map, you can easily do that. So that's quite cool. Uh, so we go back here. Um, another cool thing about the new Maps app is the fact that it gives you live weather updates uh, depending on the location that you're currently viewing. So in this case, say Santa Margarita, as you zoom in, as you can see down in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, the temperature will change depending on the location that you're viewing. So if we zoom out and scroll over to, let's say, this place here, Templeton. Uh, it appears that the weather, there you go, and then it's now changed. Now it's changed the weather to 66 degrees. So it's a really nifty little feature there. Really, really nice. Um, overall, uh, the new Maps app is really, really useful and quite nice. I'm liking the new um, user interface and things like that. Um, another thing that's changed is the little pins uh, within the map. So as you can see, we no longer have the little push pins like we had in previous versions of the maps. Um, now we just kind of get a more modern uh, looking little bubble uh, that shows up. So if we look for a location in this place, uh, let's say, uh, let's say food. Let's click, click on food, restaurants. And then it'll show you all of the restaurants within that surrounding area. So as you can see, the little pins have changed quite dramatically. Uh, they're just little bubbles that pop up now instead of the standard push pin like I said before. Then of course you click on one, it expands it and makes it bigger, and then you can get your information right from there. So that's basically it uh, of this Maps application. Um, like I said, it's, it's a welcome change, a lot of new features that'll make this app much, much uh, more reliable and much better to use. But yeah... That's basically it. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below. It's greatly appreciated. Also, hit that like button as well. Um, also, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, drop a comment below, and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. So, yeah, with that being said, hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.